Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How are y'all doing? I hope well. So, uh, today I wanted to share on the pineal gland. The third eye. Um, essentially, I read the other day and I heard somewhere it was an esoteric teaching and I forgot, I'm sure somebody will remind me. Oh, it was in the Book of the Dead. But essentially in the Book of the Dead, it says uh, that at the 49th day of gestation, or not gestation, but you know, the, the uh, embryo in the, uh, the uterus, um, that is when the soul enters in through the pineal gland. Well, that's just baloney. And then, um, uh, what is it? Uh, biologically, medically, whateverly, um, when uh, at 49 days, um, the pineal gland, it, it actually is, um, that's when it starts to develop in the, uh, the, uh, the embryo. Is it fetus or embryo? I think it's the embryo. Anyways, that's some interesting stuff, okay? In um, Ephesians, somewhere in there, Paul says, I pray that the eyes of your understanding be opened. I, and it says it in the Greek um, as in, um, in perfect tense, meaning that it's opened once and for all. I think it's a combination of spiritual, it's a combination of the heart, um, and it's a combination of the pineal gland. The pineal, the pineal gland, as I have iterated, iterated, uh, shared in another video on intuition and what's that and another take on it, uh, I dive into that. So if you want to check out that video, that'd be great. Um, so then there's a guy who's a knighted, I believe, a physicist from uh, uh, the UK, Great Britain. Uh, his name is Sir Roger Pen Pen Penrose. Oh, yeah. And he does um, studies with uh, Stuart Hameroff, who is a uh, who does anest anesthesiology. Oh, yeah. And they've collaborated and they've come up with a thing called the Orc model. Point being is that this guy ha is a very intelligent guy, and he's done he has done a number of years of studying uh, from a physics perspective, mathematics on consciousness. Just giving you a little background, um, and and this guy, what's his name? Um, Penrose has said that um, he is of the opinion that the soul uh, spirit, uh, in layman, in a paraphrase, is essentially quantum energy. Okay, and so what I'm going to present to you is just a hypothetical peripheral theory. It's not gospel it's not um what do you call it uh it's not engraved in stone okay all right um what i believe is this i've already shared in the previous video that e e uh, dna is eternal right okay so i believe this that when dad is chasing after mom and mom is like hey yeah let's start dating or whatever and then eventually you come into being through the fertilization of your mother's egg from your father's sperm, right? Uh, that is uh, the blueprint of you. Well, that's, yeah, of course, okay? So, but what I'm getting at is this. You are a commingling, really, of generations of DNA before that. And eventually, I believe, as I said previously, Christ's DNA. And... Um, but let's just take mom and dad, okay? And I believe what happens is their DNA is commingled, and that's you. That is you as far as your, you and your earth suit, uh, but also you, because it is the essence of mom and dad also. Okay, and I believe that that DNA is resonating with the zero point field. Mm, now we're getting somewhere. And so that DNA is like an index to, if I'm an orange and I need vitamin C in my body, and well, I'm not an orange, but, but an orange will pull, I believe in my opinion, 
based on the, the creation design of the orange, will pull whatever the orange is because it's an orange uh, energy information. Uh, the information being the index of the, um, the molecular structure of the orange, pulling that from the zero point field. And then that is the energy and information that my body needs uh, for the immune system and whatever else, right? And the assistance, I think, uh, of uh, with iron. Okay, point being is that there is a resonance that occurs with, with DNA, with things at a molecular level, to pull the energy and or information um, through wormholes at the proton level uh, to uh, into being. So now let's go back to um, the, um, the embryo. The 49th day happens. At that 49th day, who's to say that the now uh, overlapped uh, DNA, commingled DNA, that is you and that is your mom and dad and really everybody else, is now pulling all the information, creating resonance and quantum entanglement with the zero point field that I believe is, is either God or is um, uh, uh, used and created by God for creation um, or both because God's a little bit bigger than just one or the other. Okay, and so this information being pulled, right, through the ZPF, the zero point field and, and, and zero point energy, quantum energy, and it is now using geometry to create the embryo, just like all other types of embryos are created. If you've seen those pictures where the embryos look alike, or fetuses, man, you get that straight. So, what I am describing right now is the creation of, of your being, your soul inside and your spirit um, possibly uh, in that little baby earth suit. That's some, that's some very interesting stuff. And it kind of makes me wonder as far as these, whoever they are, you know, scientists studying consciousness, uh, how much more do they know if, you know, this kind of theory presents itself. So, um, what I am describing to you then is how the soul is created to a degree. And it's just speculative, um, you know, it's just peripheral thought. It's like I said, but it's a pretty interesting thought. And, um, you know, when you understand, when I, I started understanding DNA more, and I, like I said, I realized, or I, in my opinion, that, has, that DNA has never not existed um it's pretty amazing and so i just wanted to share that with you um if you have any thoughts or feedback let me know i would love to hear what you have to say thanks